Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the wild world of the Cretaceous, a time when absolute beasts roamed the Earth. We're talking dinosaurs, sure, but also some seriously oversized creatures that weren't dinos at all. And the star of today's show, the Dinosuchus, the largest crocodilian to ever exist. This thing was a straight up monster, and I can't wait to tell you all about it. So, grab a snack, get comfy, and let's jump into this prehistoric adventure. Thoughtful picture this. About 82 million years ago in North America, the Dinosuchus was ruling the waterways. This wasn't just any croc, it was the king of crocs, a true titan. When paleontologists first found its massive teeth back in the 1850s in North Carolina, they thought they'd stumbled on a pliosaur, some kind of giant marine reptile. But nope, more fossils showed up and they realized this was no sea lizard. They named it Dinosuchus, meaning terrible crocodile, and gave the species the name Hatcheri. Pretty fitting for a creature that was basically a living nightmare. So, just how big was this thing? Early estimates had adults stretching up to 49 feet long and weighing over 10 tons. That's like a school bus with teeth. Later studies toned those numbers down a bit, but don't worry, this croc still kept its heavyweight title. The average Dinosuchus was probably 26 to 33 feet long, weighing 2.5 to 5 tons. Emphatic, that's more than twice the size of a male hippo. And the biggest ones, especially the Rio Grandensis species, could hit 39 feet and maybe even 8.5 tons. That's heavier than most dinosaurs, except maybe the T-Rex. Informative, speaking of species, we know of four. Hacheri rugosus, Rio Grandensis, and Schwimmeri. The Hacheri and Rio Grandensis were the real giants. Some folks even think a couple of Hachera specimens might have reached 46 feet and 13 to 14 tons, but those numbers are still under debate. Most scientists stick with 39 feet as the max, which, let's be real, is still absolutely massive comparative. Now, how does Dinosuchus stack up against other giant crocs like Sarcosuchus and Pyrosaurus? Well, Sarcosuchus, often called a croc, was actually a distant cousin weighing around 5 tons. Pyrosaurus was closer, maybe hitting 8.4 tons, but Dinosuchus still takes the crown as the biggest crocodilian ever, compared to today's saltwater crocodile, which is about eight times smaller, Dinosuchus was in a league of its own. What made this beast so terrifying? Let's talk about that skull. It was huge, up to 5.5 feet long, about the same as a Spinosaurus skull. And it wasn't just big, it was built like a tank, super dense and robust. Early studies in 2002 estimated its bite force at 18,000 newtons, enough to crush bones, but not super impressive for its size. But a later study, oh boy, it suggested a jaw-dropping 100,000 newtons, almost double a T-Rex's bite. Those 22 teeth were like bananas in size, with some blunt and rounded for smashing big bones. This croc was built to take down serious prey, and guess what? It probably hunted dinosaurs. Fossils of duck-billed dinosaurs like Gryposaurus or Critosaurus in Texas show bite marks matching Dinosuchus teeth. Even big theropods like Appalachiosaurus might have been on the menu. This croc was such a menace it might have kept other predators in its region from getting too big, making it the apex predator of its turf. Curious. So, how did it hunt? Like modern crocs, Dinosuchus likely used ambush tactics lurking in the water and then lunging for a kill. It could probably do the death roll too, spinning to rip apart its prey. Its body was covered in heavy, bony plates called osteoderms, giving it armor against attacks and helping it move on land despite its size. This thing was a tank in every sense. Dinosuchus lived in a split America with the Western Interior Seaway cutting the continent in half. Its fossils have been found in 10 states in northern Mexico, mostly in estuaries, those brackish coastal waters where rivers meet the sea. Some remains even suggest it ventured into deep marine waters, maybe crossing paths with giant mosasaurs. Can you imagine that showdown? Sadly, we've got no fossil evidence of those epic battles. This croc wasn't just a loner. It shared its world with a ton of other creatures. Dinosaurs like Parasaurolophus, Euterceratops, and Edmontonia. Plus turtles, fish, snakes, and even early mammals. 
But around 73 million years ago, dinosuchus vanished from the fossil record. We're not sure why. Its size wasn't the issue, since other big animals survived just fine. Hopefully, future discoveries will give us some clues. All right, that's the story of Dinosuchus, the monster croc that ruled the Cretaceous. What do you think? Could you imagine running into this thing at the river? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Hit that like button if you loved this deep dive and subscribe for more prehistoric awesomeness. See you in the next one.